Hey everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about the Las Vegas Aces and Minnesota Lynx, who square off on ESPN at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time in a WNBA blockbuster matchup. We are now uh, almost a full week out of the Olympic break, as uh, every team has played now multiple times. The trade deadline has passed. The uh, Lynx actually made a move. We'll talk about that here in a, in a second. But uh, this matchup pits the two-time defending champion Aces at home lane seven against the Minnesota Lynx, who actually lead the Western Conference with a 20-8 and record, their third overall in the WNBA behind the New York Liberty and Connecticut Sun, while the Aces rank fourth at 17-9, and nine, uh, about, uh, what, two games behind the Lynx. And they can actually erase that deficit over the next couple of days because this is the first of a home and home between the Lynx and the Aces who will square off again later this week at Target Center. These teams have split their first two meetings back on May 29th. The Aces won 80 to 66. And on June 11th, Minnesota returned the favor in a uh, Commissioner's Cup matchup, winning 100 to 86. Minnesota then went on to beat New York for the Commissioner's Cup title. So uh, they come in very accomplished, looking forward to uh, what's next down the stretch uh, as they are a legitimate championship contender uh, and just added Maisha Hines Allen from the Washington Mystics at the deadline. She's a skilled rebounder, a nice combo forward for them, somebody that can beat people off the dribble, rebounds well. Uh, and uh, they got her for backup guard Olivia Pupa, who wasn't playing much. Sika Kone, who wasn't playing much, and a 2026 20, second round pick. So the rich get richer in terms of depth for Minnesota. I believe Hines Allen will play tonight. Uh, we'll see what role she carves out. Another uh, variable to be aware of for this evening is that uh, Alana Smith injured her knee in the most recent Lynx win over Washington. Uh, so we'll see if uh, she carries any injury designation into this one or uh, any ill effects from that uh, knee knock. So uh, that's something worth watching because she will be one of the uh, defenders uh, being tasked with slowing down Asia Wilson, who uh, has averaged 23 points and 12 boards in the first two meetings against uh, the Minnesota Lynx and have, has obviously been dominant since we've returned from the Olympic break. She was great uh, in, the, in the Olympics and uh, she has been fantastic despite the fact that Las Vegas uh, is just one and one uh, over the last week. And the Aces come off an 87 to 71 win over the Los Angeles Sparks, uh, following that 79 to 67 loss to the New York Liberty at home. Uh, while Minnesota has won each of their games, uh, they have used two big second half quarters to uh, excel against Washington. They come off a 99 to 83 win on Sunday, over the Mystics, uh, thanks to a 33-17 third quarter that put that away. In the first matchup, they won 79-68, to 68, and that one was uh, even heading into the fourth, and they won that with a 21-10 fourth quarter. Um, and the most recent uh, matchup between the Aces and the Lynx uh, showed off Minnesota's depth. Alana Smith led the way with 18 points, four rebounds, and three assists, but Kayla McBride added uh, 16, Bridget Carlton added 15, uh, Courtney Williams added 15 points, four rebounds, and nine assists. And Nafisa Collier, their leading scorer, went for 14, six, and six. One great thing about Collier is that she looks uh, completely healthy after the plantar fasciitis that she was dealing with in early July and uh, really kept her out of action for a couple of weeks heading into the Olympic break. So she uh, obviously played and started every game for the U.S. Olympic team that won gold and uh, comes off a 30-point game on Sunday in that 99 to 83 win and uh, looks great. So with Heinz Allen on board, uh, assuming Lana Smith is able to play, uh, you got Bridget Carlton up front, uh, Dorka Juhas uh, off the bench, uh, same with Chechi Zandalassini. I mean, this is a deep front court, probably the deepest in the league right now. Courtney Williams has played really well against the Aces. So we will take the seven points with Minnesota on the road at Michelob Ultra Arena. Uh, Las Vegas still rounding into form. Uh, one thing to to uh, know about this matchup tonight is that it'll be the first that Chelsea Gray plays against the Lynx since she was out 
of action for both the first two matchups. So we'll see how the Aces respond with their point guard on board against uh, another title contender. And certainly, I mean, uh, the, the Aces started great against the Liberty uh, over the weekend and then uh, really hit the, the skids in the second quarter. Couldn't defend well enough to uh, get that result back to where they needed to. And New York imposed its will and has been dominant. They uh, won yesterday despite not having Sabrina Unescu on board. So New York playing better than anybody in the WNBA. Minnesota is a live dog today, I would imagine, especially if Maisha Hines-Allen hits the ground running with her new team. One other thing to note that we really like in this game, over 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Jackie Young. Jackie Young was a breakout star in the Olympics, went from uh, being a reserve to joining that starting lineup uh, and uh, helping lead the U.S. to gold. But she has really struggled uh, over the last two games. Uh, went, uh, what was it, uh, four points, four rebounds, and three assists on one of eight shooting against the Liberty, 0 for 4 from three-point range uh, against the Sparks the next day on Sunday. She went for 10, 4, and 4, 3 for 12 from the field, 2 of 7 from three-point range. So she's 4 for 20 since returning for the Olympics. I bet that uh, turns around here. And so the number is uh, pretty low. Jackie Young, 28 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. You know she's still going to get her boards, still going to dish out, dish out her dimes, and I bet you she breaks in to double figures in this matchup. So look for Jackie Young to uh, top 28 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for our player prop. We'll take the points with the links, getting seven. I think uh, this will be a tight game that uh, the Aces probably pull out late. And uh, the lean, I guess, would be slightly towards – the over on 167, but I'd probably stay away from that number. Looks pretty right. Smash that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a deal. We've got a 10 year anniversary going on, a special going on at Wager Talk this weekend. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Sports Memo also has great deals. You can follow me at sm.buzz TDM. Check all out my package information and free plays that I post on my page. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro as well. Uh, and that way you'll never miss an observation or anything that can help make you money. And that's, that's what we're striving for here as we move forward with uh, the football season beginning. College football starts on Saturday with week zero. The NFL preseason is in full swing. So uh, let's continue to cash. And for this uh, WNBA free play, again, we're taking the points with the Minnesota Lynx getting seven. And uh, like Jackie Young, over 28 and a half, or 26 and a half, pardon me, points, rebounds, and assists. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.